Imagine connecting two bustling cities separated by a vast expanse of water through an innovative feat of engineering. China is on the brink of achieving just that with its mega project, the $47 billion second Jiaozhou Bay undersea tunnel. Set to revolutionize transportation and boost economic integration, this colossal undertaking promises to redefine connectivity in the region. China stands as a nation that has undergone a remarkable transformation, solidifying its position as a global powerhouse by spearheading a multitude of colossal megaprojects. Currently, the construction of the world's longest undersea tunnel is underway in Qingdao, a prominent metropolis that stands as the third largest economic hub in northern China, following only Beijing and Tianjin in terms of economic output. This leads us to wonder how China is building the world's longest undersea tunnel in Qingdao. Qingdao is a pivotal center for regional economic growth and development. Nestled in the eastern province of Shandong, China, Qingdao is a vibrant port city that seamlessly blends modern skyscrapers, picturesque parks, and inviting beaches along the scenic coastline of the Yellow Sea. It is renowned as one of the largest urban centers in the Shandong province. Qingdao boasts a rich cultural heritage, with its legacy as a significant beer-producing hub stemming from the historical influence of German occupation. Qingdao's legacy of breaking records remains a steadfast narrative in its journey of accomplishments. It is home to the esteemed Qingdao Port, the world's fourth largest port. The city serves as a bustling epicenter of global trade, showing its integral role in fostering international commerce and connectivity. That's not all. Qingdao made headlines in 2011 with the groundbreaking construction of the Jiaozhou Bay Bridge and Tunnel, pushing the boundaries of engineering excellence. The Jiaozhou Bay Bridge, stretching 42 kilometers, serves as the vital link connecting Qingdao, China's bustling eastern port city, to the offshore island of Huangdao. The Jiaozhou Bay Tunnel serves as an undersea road tunnel, seamlessly traversing the depths of Jiaozhou Bay to establish a crucial connection between the vibrant Huangdao district in the south and the bustling Xinan district in the north, right at the bay's narrow entrance. Just three decades back, crossing the bay meant enduring long ferry rides that took precious hours. But then, in 2011, Qingdao turned things around with the Jiaozhou Bay Bridge and Tunnel, slashing that one-hour commute to a mere six minutes. Talk about a game-changer! And guess what? China isn't stopping there. They're at it again, crafting yet another epic marvel, the world's longest undersea tunnel. Construction for the second Jiaozhou Bay undersea tunnel kicked off on October 29, 2020 in the vibrant West Coast new area of Qingdao, Shandong Province. The main section, measuring 15.89 kilometers, is bound to redefine what we thought was possible beneath the waves. Anticipated with fervor, the upcoming Qingdao second subsea tunnel project, which is set to become the world's longest subsea road tunnel, is slated for completion and commencement in December 2027. This significant infrastructure development is expected to revolutionize transportation and connectivity in the region, fostering increased accessibility and efficiency for years to come. China's megaproject is fueled by an unwavering commitment to meet the evolving needs of its growing population, which shows China's relentless pursuit of innovation and progress. The need for enhanced connectivity has become increasingly apparent in the eastern regions of China, where high economic activity has increased the demand for efficient transportation networks. The existing Jiaozhou Bay Bridge, while a marvel in its own right, often faces congestion, weather-related disruptions, and limitations on cargo transportation. The second Jiaozhou Bay undersea tunnel, with its visionary design, aims to alleviate these challenges by providing an alternative and reliable transportation route, supporting the efficiency and resilience of the region's logistical network. By creating a more direct and all-weather passage, China seeks to enhance trade, commerce, and overall connectivity between the cities, thus driving economic growth in the region. Economically speaking, this tunnel isn't just about cutting down travel time. 
It is also expected to strengthen trade and commerce and foster personnel exchanges between Qingdao's thriving eastern and western urban centers. This strategic development is anticipated to unlock a wealth of opportunities, propelling the region's economic growth and reinforcing its position as a dynamic hub of activity and collaboration. This tunnel project isn't just a local feat. It's part of China's grand plan to boost its economic growth through the development of massive urban infrastructure and transportation facilities. With the second Jiaozhou Bay subsea tunnel leading the charge, it's all set to become the gold standard for tunnel design, construction, and operations worldwide in the coming decade. China's not just building for today, they're paving the way for a whole new era of underwater connections, both within the country and across the globe. This development is expected to propel the growth of Jiaozhou Bay, amplifying the overall competitiveness of the Jiaodong Peninsula and solidifying Qingdao's position as a premier coastal city along the Maritime Silk Road of the One Belt, One Road initiative. Now, you might be wondering about the company tasked with this project. Qingdao Kansan Development is the Chinese company taking the lead for the second Jiaozhou Bay tunnel construction. It's been quite a journey for them, starting way back in 2012 with a series of intense brainstorming sessions involving China's top experts, including the illustrious academic Qian Shihu. They've done their homework, conducting four pre-feasibility and 15 feasibility studies, and now they're finally making it happen, set to carve out the world's longest subsea road tunnel. This project represents a transformative leap forward in tunnel design and construction, harnessing the power of international collaboration and innovation to pioneer a new era of infrastructure development. They're not just thinking outside the box, they're practically reinventing the whole concept of what's possible underground. Qingdao Kansan Development is setting an exceptional standard in design, construction precision, and operational finesse, fueling their enthusiasm to play a key role in shaping Qingdao as a vibrant, contemporary, and globally connected metropolis. They're on a mission to turn Qingdao into an epicenter of openness, modernity, and dynamic international flair, making it a city that truly stands out on the world stage. The tunnel's journey will kick off at Huaihe East Road in the West Coast New District, charting a course along the picturesque Liu Gongdao Road, diving beneath the waters of Jiaozhou Bay, and finally emerging at Qingdao Port. By linking the East Coast, it will intricately weave together Qingdao's diverse coastal urban neighborhoods, fostering a cohesive and interconnected cityscape. Once it's all said and done, this tunnel will have not just one, not two, but six lanes going both ways, seamlessly connecting Qingdao's coastal urban regions. The tunnel is going to stretch 15.89 kilometers, with a substantial 9.95 kilometers extending beneath the sea. Notably, the tunnel's most profound segment delves an astounding 115 meters beneath the surface of the sea, a testament to the project's remarkable engineering and technological prowess. It's set to outshine the length of Norway's Rifilke Tunnel, which is 14.3 kilometers, and secure its position as the second submarine tunnel in the renowned Jiaozhou Bay. It will even beat records held by Japan's tunnel and Europe's tunnel. The monumental excavation efforts are estimated to exceed 8 million cubic meters of earth and stone, more than the excavation volumes of Japan's Seikan Tunnel, which is 5.2 million cubic meters, and Europe's Channel Tunnel, which is 4.8 million cubic meters, strengthening China's status as the country with the largest undersea tunnel project in history. The tunnel will feature six two-way lanes accompanied by a strategically positioned central service channel, catering comprehensively to the transit needs of both passengers and freight vehicles. Set to uphold a designated speed limit of 80 km per hour, the tunnel's streamlined infrastructure promises a transformative and expedient passage for commuters and cargo alike, significantly enhancing regional accessibility and expediting the flow of goods and services in the area. This groundbreaking initiative is not just a national milestone, but a significant leap forward in global undersea tunnel development, marking a defining moment in China's transportation infrastructure landscape. 
the tunnel construction is not without its challenges. It is no walk in the park. Imagine delving deep into the unknown, facing the daunting challenge of dealing with two completely different rock formations. On one end, you've got the rugged, unyielding granite of Huang Dao, while on the other, the equation gets even trickier with Qingdao's soft gray limestone and sandy layers throwing in an unexpected twist. With the colossal Kangku Fault stretching over 200 meters, creating a stark division between the flat plains out west and the rugged terrain dominated by the imposing Laoshan Mountain out east, they've got quite the geological maze to navigate. The best way to tackle this complex puzzle of rocks and fault lines is through the tried-and-true method of drill and blast, a technique that's not just perfect for handling both soft and hard rock, but also happens to be the most reliable approach to take on this formidable construction challenge. Dealing with such delicate rock formations calls for extreme caution. One wrong move could unleash a floodgate of seawater, potentially jeopardizing the entire project. To mitigate this risk, they're erecting a robust barrier that not only keeps the water at bay, but also fortifies the tunnel, enabling it to steadily inch forward through the intricate and unforgiving terrain of the colloidal Kangku Fault. They're creating a shield, not just to protect the project, but to safeguard their vision of connecting Qingdao's coastal regions, one solid barrier at a time. In conquering challenges like tunnel ventilation, disaster prevention, managing high water pressure, negotiating large-scale fractures, and seamlessly coordinating large-diameter shield docking within the drill and blast approach, this accomplishment stands as a historic milestone, firmly establishing China's leadership in the field of tunnel engineering. They're not just building a tunnel. They're creating a legacy of innovation and expertise, setting new standards for tunnel projects globally. China's monumental $47 billion mega undersea tunnel project in Qingdao stands as evidence of the nation's unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of engineering excellence. This ambitious endeavor, designed to connect the bustling urban centers separated by the expansive Jiaozhou Bay, represents a pivotal step in enhancing regional connectivity and fostering economic growth. The project's significance goes beyond mere infrastructure development, serving as a symbol of China's forward-thinking approach to addressing the evolving needs of its population and bolstering its position as a global powerhouse. By prioritizing efficient transportation networks and fostering seamless connectivity, China aims to stimulate trade, commerce, and personnel exchanges, thereby solidifying its standing as a dynamic hub of international activity. What do you think? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.